Welcome back to the channel. So on the screen I've just decided to put some pictures on on Google of the cave bar that you can visit in Dubrovnik. This is basically what it looks like when you walk in. So you've got your bar area and then obviously you've got these steps and it takes you to the hotel because it's a hotel more that you can stay at. Um, well inside there is the actual cave bit but the whole bar is a cave. So when you walk into there this is what you will see. That. So as you can see on the picture, it is a real cave with the stalagmites and stalactites. You're not allowed to take drinks in here, but when you look down there, you can basically see blue water. Because it's the sea. But also when you look up, you're looking up into an actual cave and it's absolutely fantastic. So there's another shot of it there. And then that's looking out of that cave area. So you walk out there to go out to walk back along the promenade. So, and then that's the shot if you sit outside. So that's Lapad Bay. So the hotel I'm staying at is just there. That's the hotel this. That's the hotel Splendid. The hotel behind is the Uvala, and that's the Commodore where I stayed last year with Jet with Tui. Sorry, with Tui. And they're all in the same group, the Maestro group. So you've got the Splendid, the this. Uvala, the Commodore, there's also the Adriatic which is just next door and you've also got the Hotel Compass which is just off shot. And then that's a view of it in the day. So you've got the Vis, the Splendid, the Uvala there, that's the Uvala, the Commodore where I stayed last year for a week and then you've got the Compass and the Adriatic. And the sunsets are very similar to that each night that's looking out towards the Elafiti Islands just there. Cruise ships generally go past these rocks because there's a lighthouse just over there and if you go around that way it will take to the old town. That gives you an idea of what the sunset looks like. That was taken in September last year. Not by me, by somebody else. That's the blue water that I'm, I'm on, I was on about. If you're stood inside the cave bit. So it's the cave bar at the Hotel Moor. That's from outside it in the day. That's a video somebody's done. And apart from that, inside the bar, that's basically what you sit at, what you sit in, and what you can look at. Now I've sat there where that couple are before, um, and had a beer, and gone in there, taken photographs. So obviously, when I go next month, three weeks today actually, I will be doing some videos and pictures inside the cave bar and that's basically the bar area there you can have food at the hotel but the drinks are probably more better really so for three or four euros you'll be able to have the local beer which is Ajusco or there's one that's even named after me called Carlo Vakel. I've had both of those Croatian beers but to visit the cave bar is just absolutely amazing there is a website for the cave bar, if I just put it in, cave bar Dubrovnik, just there, and then it's cave bar more, that's the one you click on, and there's a picture of what it looks like, and then you've got the menu, about us, the home page, and then the gallery, which will obviously show you more pictures of the actual cave bar itself. So if you go up those steps, it takes you to the hotel. If you're staying in the hotel, you can come down those steps into the cave bar, or you can go in the lift, which is near the bar area. And that's from the outside. So that's the cable car bit there, in the, <coughs> in the old town. But there's a path that comes along here. And because I'm staying over this side, it takes about 10-15 minutes to walk this path along around the back of there to go back to where I'm staying. So I can see this bar opposite my hotel. The entrance to the cave bar is just there. So you come along this path and you can come down these steps here or down those steps there and walk along this. You can sit outside. I generally come down the steps there and go along here and into the cave bar which is through there. This is the hotel mall just here. And there are some toilets just there as well. But there's also a toilet inside somewhere on one of the next floors. But generally the loos are outside and you go in through there. As it says cave bar more on the wall 
and that's looking back outside into that bit there so that's coming into the cave bar so they've got the website there you've got that you can share it you can see it on facebook and instagram <coughs> and then they've got the number as well so that's basically the website for the cave bar it's definitely worth a visit if i get the menu up this will show you the drinks that they do cave bar more so i generally have a croatian beer so you can have coffees and teas um, as well. Iced tea is 5.50 euro. 5 euro for a cup of tea. English breakfast. But I generally have Croatian beer, which is of course a Jusko, which costs 5.50 euro. And of course they do brandies and whiskies and all sorts, and wines as well. So you can have a wine. The local wine is Poship. For the bottle, you're paying 35 euro for a glass you're paying seven so i'm quite happy to have a beer and i will definitely be having the ajusco which is seven euros it's 550 euros yeah and of course you can have stella and bax and corona as well but because i'm in croatia i will be having the ajusco so that's basically an idea of the cave bar so it is definitely worth a visit if you ever go to Dubrovnik um, because it's just stunning inside what it looks like so definitely pay a visit to the cave bar it's given the opening hours there at the moment it's closed probably because it's still out of season but I would imagine from April I'll be able to visit so I'm sure I'll see some updates online about this so as I said thank you for watching the channel continue to subscribe and like and I'll see you guys in the next video where I'll hopefully do some more videos regarding the Elafiti Islands, Kotor, Kotula, Mostar and the surrounding area as well of Dubrovnik. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and take care. Bye bye.